Hey, I'm Sean, and this is my dog, Echo. You're watching Shane's Craft Beer Review. Let's check it out. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. Uh, I'm here with Brian the Beer Snob, as you can see, at Lost Lake. That's right. We found it. We found it. Yeah. It, we, it was lost, and then we found it. But it's, we're still going to call it Lost Lake, because found lake sounds stupid. It does. It does, <laughs> Right, so this is my last day down here with Brian. Uh, I got to fly out in a couple hours. So I figured, hey, you know what? Let's do one more beer. And uh, Brian picked this beer out for us. I have no idea what it is. So uh, Brian, what do we got today? Well, this is a beer I looked for for a long time and I finally found it. And uh, since, I don't know if it's special or not, but it's special to me because it's one of those things that I have been looking for for so long. It's and a special beer then. when I finally saw it on the shelf, I had to get it. It's the Pseudo Sioux Pale Ale out of Toppling Goliath Brewery, and they're in uh, Iowa somewhere, Decorah, Iowa. So we'll send this guy back home with some American beer in his belly. Which is never a bad thing. And uh, this has 5.8% alcohol, so it's not too, not, not too much. It's gonna be all right. But uh, yeah, it's got a nice- A cool uh, little can art on there. To the, uh, the T-Rex that they found a couple years ago. I'm assuming that's what this is named after. That's why it's- uh, I would assume so. Got a T-Rex on the label. And and Brian was gracious enough to let me use one of his upside down bottle glasses. I love these glasses. I love it when he uses them in his videos. It just, I, mean, look at the, 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 I love the way the cast especially in the in the really thin part there. Oh yeah. It is really, really nice. It like, it funnels like, so, so the scent just Yeah, there's, there's, right there's so much, like a, the nose on this is just boom. It's I like right it. in your face. I, I'm so happy that from the smell, I'm not disappointed. No, it smells great. Like nice, nice, nice and hoppy smelling, nice getting that citrus, pineapple mango. You know, typical IPA pale ale kind of smells in there. I'm gonna top this up really quick because I think this is gonna be good. So I wanna get a little tiny bit more on my glass before I start getting into this. Yeah, so I wanted this just because the name, the, the Pseudo Sue, it was something that I really wanted to try. And then of course, even if I didn't see the name and I saw the can art on it, that, that purple yeah. T-Rex just, Looking all gnarly. I had to grab it just for yeah, that. Yeah, you pick so, it up just for that. So far, it's a, it's a win for the the beer that I that I've been looking for. I found it's a, a win for the can art, and now hopefully okay, it's going to be. I put that down there because it's a little windy, and that might blow tongue. away. All right. But all right, yeah. Like I said, I got I got a little bit of the sediment at the bottom of the can there. That's fine. That's the good there's, stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. Yeah, nothing stuff. wrong with that, people. Don't let don't be scared of chunks. Oh. Don't be scared of chunks. Chewing on the beers is just a bonus. No, oh, you got a bunch of little chunks in there too, actually. Uh, I love chunks. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, let's try this out, Brian. Cheers. And hey, Cheers. thanks for being such a great yeah, host this weekend. Sorry it was so cold while you were down here. I mean, uh, <laughs> I thought it was beautiful. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Want to let him go swimming, but it, it was it's in the 70s, mm. and we don't swim when it's that cold. That's down true. Here. That I'll is true. It. All right, yeah. let's give it a try once again. Yeah. Cheers. It's a touch thinner than I was expecting. It's thinner, but that flavor, you know, judging from the smell, I was expecting there to be a lot of sweetness in it. And there's not really. There's not, yeah. It's, uh, this, this, this is what I like. I, like I said, young me loved the sweet stuff. The old me, a little sweet stuff. I'm just gonna have one can. If it's a sweet beer, it's okay. I'm gonna sure. drink that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drink six of them. No, then you're gonna switch to something, maybe yeah. like a, usually I'll, like I'll a just, lager or something, just to get the uh, sweetness. A beer away. flavored beer. Beer flavored beer to knock the, the sweetness of the previous one out. But yeah, it's. Uh, I like this. I'm not disappointed. I, no, it's if not I bad. had three hands, I'd give it three thumbs up for the for the name of it, the can art, and the taste of it. Well, it smelled wonderful. Yeah, it smells fantastic. The aroma on it's fantastic. Four thumbs, I need four thumbs. There you go. It's it's a little bit thin, it was thinner than I would have thought it would have been, but the the flavor's pretty good. Yeah. I don't mind it. Um, I'll give this uh, probably about a three and a half. It's not bad. I I'm not disappointed. I would drink this again, and if I happen to see it, I mean, I, would pay, I want, much like Brian, I would pick it up just for the really cool can, if nothing else. Yeah, I mean, sometimes that can art is wonderful, and the beer is absolutely horrendous, but but you got a cool can. But yeah, I mean, especially if you're a can you can't collector. Can't win all the time. That's true. But I think I think I think we won this time. We did. Because, you know, we're, we're hanging out together, having a good time. We're by this beautiful lake because we're trying to be cool like Blue Ice. Oh, yeah. And do a review, review by, the by the lake. Review by the lake. Yeah. Shout out to Blue Ice, by the way. Sorry I didn't catch you while I was here, brother. Um, hopefully next time we can uh, make that work out. But, it just, uh, just couldn't match up. But yeah. next time, oh. It happens. Well, it'll happen. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see him down in uh, 
Oh no, he's not even going to the get together this year. I don't think oh, South he's Carolina. Got a family he's got a family or reunion or something. Going on that weekend. I'll be back down again, my brother. Don't worry. We'll we'll hook up. We'll go have some beers. But anyway, Brian, right. great weekend again. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming back. Uh, everybody else, of course, if you're not subscribed to Brian, and everybody is, I know, so you don't even have to do that. His information will be down below. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Cheers. Ah. Yeah, like I said, nice. Not a bad little bit, just like the thin. For, for me, like, I know I probably shouldn't take five gulps in the in the beginning anyway but I, I do that just because sometimes I'm, I'm so parched I want to get get it in me right but this is gonna sound weird so your tongue is like you know flat like this right right but as it was coming over my tongue and going down my throat it, it's almost like the most intense part of the flavor was right down the center line of my tongue I could like I don't it's weird to, it's weird to say it was like uh, now you well, make I'm, an I'm picking now. up a lot of flavor right down the center of my tongue and then I mean, you said that, like it had a the mouthfeel was a little bit lighter than that was to me I, I felt that on the side of my tongue weird I've never, yeah. never had that before but I, you know I, did, I, I just had a sip and I was like okay let's see and you're actually right <laughs> but I think that yeah, parts of your tongue there's different flavor receptors for different like, I just thought the, it was one, one part sweet one part I've had I've never I've never had my tongue break the taste of the beer as it was going over yeah. turn it down like that before and like so. I, said, I never pay, now you realize every time I do a, a video now I'm going to be consciously doing that <laughs> They're like, oh, what, what side of my tongue does this taste on? I think this is very left tongue heavy. <laughs> yeah. It's a very left tongue heavy taste. <laughs>